What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I just got done watching the first Omen last night and I couldn't help but think to myself, I already saw this movie. I literally just saw this movie two weeks ago, bro. This is the same movie as Immaculate, bro. Hands f***ing down. It's the exact same movie. And I'm not saying that in a bad way because I really love this movie. I actually am... I think it's even better than Immaculate. But it's just a strange sensation to have when it's like, dude, I literally... I saw this two weeks ago, not even like a year ago or like a long time ago where you're like, okay, this movie is very similar to that movie. No, no, like back to back, like <laughs> opening weekends on office. I'm like, what the f is happening? Who copied who? Look, I'm not trying to say anybody copied anybody or there's plagiarism involved or whatever, but it just feels very oddly familiar and very short in period of time, which is just very strange, bro. Like I'm, let me just break it down to you. Like it's almost beat for beat the exact same movie. In both movies, you get a young woman as the protagonist that travels to a foreign country to become a nun and devote themselves to something bigger. Then they both conceive babies unnaturally, having slept with any man. Then they both later find out that the church that they signed up to was behind it and they're corrupt. I'm telling you guys, it's just strangely similar. Like it's even to the scene bro i'm just giving you like basic plot points but even scenes bro are exactly the same like there's none laying on the floor with their hands like this and then in this scene the same thing i can't help but feel shocked because i was just like i literally just saw this like this is just the thoughts that are running through my head as i'm watching the movie with that being said the movie's not bad as a matter of fact like i said i think it's even better than immaculate because it's the same story at its you know core but I just think this movie handled it better. And I'll give you an example. I feel like the first Omen handles their twist reveal a lot better than Immaculate with the church being behind all of it and them being corrupt and all. Because in Immaculate, everything unravels very quickly. They don't really go into it too far. They kind of just breeze over it. Whereas in the first Omen, they really spend a lot of time and it just feels a lot more fleshed out. But as far as the acting, bro, the acting is phenomenal in both movies. I mean, I can't say that it's that much better in the first Omen because Sydney Sweeney is phenomenal in Immaculate. That scene at the end where she's just giving birth and there's no music, there's no dialogue, it's just pure emotions on screen, that was fantastic. But at the same time, Nell Tiger Free was amazing in this movie as well. Like, there's a scene where she gets possessed and that was, I mean, top tier acting. I know the Oscars don't reflect horror movie actresses, but I'm telling you, time and time again, there are some phenomenal performances. The Evil Dead Rise, which came out last year, Alyssa Sutherland was Oscar worthy. I am telling you, Nell Tiger Free in this movie was Oscar worthy. I mean, I'm telling you, this is super hard to pull off. Like, there's a scene in there where you're just like, wow. Another thing I want to point out about this movie, it's beautifully shot. I mean, the images that you see in this film are fantastic. Whoever is the cinematographer or even the director, I mean, they did a great job because there are shots in this movie where you're just like, it just feels like psychedelic. There's scenes where she's looking at you in the camera and it's just terrifying. Like it's very, even Immaculate was beautifully shot, but I just got to hand it to this movie because they built an amazing atmosphere. There's even a slow motion scene in the riot where you see like the hands of the demon and like a tongue, like it is just really captivating. Like it really grabs your attention. And the jump scares in this movie are not bad as well. Like I remember a scene where it's kind of like the nun where you see a nun in the background, but it's like a shadow. And then she turns and it was like a quick pop up. That one freaked me out, bro. I jumped. And there was a couple of those in this movie. But I must say, those were definitely not what made this movie stand out. I mean, yes, they're fun. Jump scares are a part of every scary movie. But what made this movie really shine, what made it stand out, was this horror mystery thriller aspect to it, where we're kind of all along for the ride, figuring out bits and pieces as we go and putting things together. That is the most fun part about this movie. And like I said, that's kind of the same thing that they do in Immaculate. I mean, she's putting things together at the same time. But this movie, like I said, handles it better. They dissect it a little bit more. They explain it better. They give us a little bit more time with the audience. I think this movie is better. And that's saying a lot because I thought Immaculate was the first good horror movie of 2024. And you know what? I think I'm going to have to hand off that title to the first Omen, which just came out two weeks later. And it's basically the same movie. But between Night Swim, Imaginary, Late Night with the Devil, Immaculate, and this movie... The first omen takes the cake, bro. The first omen is the best movie of 2024. I said it. Your boy said it. He said it. And yes, I've seen the first omen. I haven't seen the whole franchise. I saw the first one back in the day, and I think they made, like, made a remake in the 2000s or something like that. I saw that one as well. But I must say, I'm pretty confident in saying this is the best 
movie in the Omen franchise. Like, I don't think any movie is going to surpass this one. I like the first one. It's an original classic, but it's not a movie I feel like I'll ever rewatch. I don't ever give the time of day again. But this movie, I'm 100% going to rewatch. I'm even thinking about going to the movies again to see it. I was like, wow, this was good. And one more thing before I end this video, the score or the soundtrack of this movie amazing straight up amazing bro there were such scary moments and the music really added to it i mean it was fantastic i mean just the sounds and the emotions that it evokes it was amazing i have to say that the soundtrack the score of this movie fantastic hats off to whoever did it you guys did great but yeah that's it for this video i don't want to spoil the movie at all so i'm going to keep it short and sweet let me know what you guys thought about the first omen if you saw it down in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend this movie, especially if you're a horror fan, you're not going to be disappointed. So subscribe if you're not already. I got a bunch of content coming your way and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.